the slides are cheaper for people. Alright. Okay. Well, I was not expecting to not be able to see you. Oh my god, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Joey Forever. This is my brother David. And, uh, let me play some song. Sorry for your name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's for all you out there who uh, use social media. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get that. Every time I criticize this modern media landscape and explain my flawless reasoning, I am met with tired eyes as provocation takes shape. Oh, you think I think that I'm a king. What would make you say that? Just because I'm a one-month disciple of every book I read. And my most recent one says that you're rotting your brain. It was wrong of you to assume that I now think less of you, though I do. But there was no way that you knew. Oh, I have so much patience now, can't you fucking see that? A few weeks clean is all it took. All this free time has allowed me to finally step back. I'm thinking I should write a book. I'm not trying to stop you, I believe in the freedom to give up your own democracy, and show the CCP everything that you think. Call me a Luddite, say that I'm shaking my cane at a train, joke that you're anxious. It's probably just chemicals wrong in your brain. Forget that I mentioned. Causation is obvious as cigarettes, but everyone's smoking. So join them, but please don't forget it was wrong of you to assume that I now think less of you. But it's true, and I do. But there was no way that you knew. Woo! 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 So that's a new one, if you couldn't tell. But now it's deep in my brain stem. <laughs> post that on uh, Instagram. Oh, yeah. On TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Don't post it on TikTok. I am, man. But... <laughs> Hey, Joe, you can put the lyrics up there if you want to read them. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know the rest of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> David is clocking in. Steve has bitten all of his nails. No one wants to be in this position, but the higher ups decide. David, come on into my office. Hey, Steve, I thought of you Saturday. You said your mom was into me, so I picked her up a bottle while in my rubbish. Then 
must be some other way to get rid of this glowing expenditure, but this can't ignore. Will you, my partner in crime? Do you think Steve has been acting weird? He just double checked my address and he stopped eating lunch and he shaved his I guess that's a little strange Maybe he just wants to fire you If they wanted better IT guys They should've had a difficult interview Steve's at the bathroom sink Staring at a man he don't recognize But the gears just started turning behind those eyes This is the night I will go to David's house I've got three cans of gas This whole place will be loud But I know I can't live with the alternative Of everybody knowing that I fired such a nice kid Oh Hey, what the fuck is that smell? I think I see Steve outside dressed in black. I still need some help with my homework, but Joey, I'm gonna have to call you back. That song was written after I needed some uh, inspiration during, was that during COVID coming out? Or? Yeah. <laughs> um, and David said, write a song about uh, me getting fired or something. <laughs> like, like a boss who like, wants to fire uh, an employee but is like, too embarrassed about like the social repercussions of it, so he kills him instead. Yeah. So I'm in, David. <laughs> <laughs> You guys ever get mail that's not yours? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I don't do anything with it. I just, you open it. You know, you put return to sender on. You made me fuck up that line. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you return to sender and then, you know, don't open it. The postman brought entire trees, laid them down at our door. Some cigar magazines, more credit card application forms. They're brought here by the bundle, and I don't know what for. Because Daryl doesn't live here anymore. I don't know where he went, if his heart's still beating like before. Do we drink when he raised his kids? Did he have a love that he adored? I just know that at one point, he walked these lovely, sweet geek floors. But Daryl doesn't live here anymore. Naturally, I get to thinking what my life has in store. One day I'll pack my bags and take my last step out of this door. USPS won't be bothered, but it agitates me to my core. That just like Daryl, 
I won't live here anymore. to have um, dreams that are wild and don't make any sense because, you know, I don't know. But uh, this song is about <laughs> dreams. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I hate driving at night 
can see in all the Christmas lights Cause then I am reminded that I'm gonna die And I can't do that, at least not in December Cause then all my family's subsequent holidays are ruined Destroyed their favorite son dead and gone I'll cut my speed in half and double check my lights are on Convince myself the ones I love won't end up in the ground Don't get my hopes up cause what goes up must come down When I'm old and gray I promise I'll enjoy the holiday Not be unstable towards the gaps around the table I'm home So that one was a little sad, a little weird, a little depressing But um, it's, it's just gonna get worse <laughs> Before it gets better. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> if you guys noticed, I um, made all the capo zero right next to each other so that I wouldn't have to do this between every song. So if you're annoyed right now, you should be fucking thankful. <laughs> I thought of you. Each of us inside our pockets sits a fella at the moment satiated. Soon enough he'll break the news that for the next six weeks or so we'll leave you emotionally incapacitated. It'll be your grandpa or your sister or your puppy or your best friend who prematurely met their inevitable end. Making weird, embarrassing noises, you will fall onto the floor when you realize you can't tell them that you love them anymore. Oh, what a short, strange bliss. We're trapped inside this rocket ship, and you don't know how long it's gonna fly. Oh, what you got to lose? There's rocks inside your favorite shoes, and you may just get them out to take a hike before you die. You think of all the pain you feel now and abstractly try to wait if the love they gave you was worth your dismay. But like the dog your parents got you, knowing all too well you'd watch the fucker die. You still don't wish you never had her in your life. Now for the next few days or weeks, You'll believe that life is pointless And then be those inside the void of mindless bliss But if you're lucky, you will realize life's a gift But that the feast must end The fact that death is urgency to make amends Oh, what a short, strange blip We're trapped inside this rocket ship And you don't know how long it's gonna fly what you got to lose There's rocks inside your favorite shoes And you may just get them out To take a hike before you die It's the only thing you'll ever have to do But you kept it in the corners of your mind And up until this point you've been just fine But now you think about your deathbed And you want to keep off of your tongue those regretful words of make me young So then you take some psychedelics And you think about your loved ones As anxiety shoots through you like a gun But you'll untie those stubborn laces As your former worries start to fade You'll travel comfortably with meaning finally made Oh, what a short, strange blip We're trapped inside this rocket ship and you don't know how long it's gonna fly Oh, what you got to lose 
there's rocks inside your only shoes and you may just get them out to take a hike before you die categories of people who know lots and people who don't, and I thought that was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. No offense if you don't, <laughs> but you will. <laughs> the sand slips through my fingertips a little bit too fast. My childhood friends have beards and the endless fun of college didn't last. God, it feels like yesterday, my family driving to the beach. Green Day on my MP3 player, all the summers that didn't teach. There's so much sand, there's so much sand. There's so much sand, there's so much sand. I remember when you tried to convince me to go busk in Santa Monica. I was full of excuses, it's cold and it's windy, and oh, do you really wanna? There's so much sand, and fuck, I didn't know you had so little left in your hands. Now my kid brother's four years older than you were or have ever been. There's so much sand, there's so much sand. I swear to God, I thought there was so much sand. Knowing more could have been done and should have been said. Inspect the top of my hourglass painted back, rain in the grains of a world that'll never return. Dig towards a future where all of my actions result in a me who's not constantly yearning. Oh no, I swear I thought there was so much sand. Oh, oh no, I swear I thought there was so much
like love. I don't have to write songs about death any longer. That's love. There's a woman who loves me and I love her. That's love. I can catalog our memories to a tune and see if our love grows stronger. That's love. I just keep wearing my seatbelt and hope we endure. Cause she captured my heart with silliness and thoughts in our conversation. Turn on a dime. Every day in our bed can make each other laugh like we're never gonna run out of time. Oh, I cherish so deeply our precious time. Together and the reason just might make me cry because something is coming for us all. Oh no, yeah, someday we're all gonna have to go to work on Monday. We're gonna have to go to work on Monday. Well, not this one's the holiday. Monday is coming, I'll get in that car and I'll drive away. That's love, I must abandon my love no matter how much it hurts. That's love, the weekend's over and 40 more hours are here to stay. That's love, leave behind all the sour beers and vegan desserts. ties in with uh, the previous stuff. You know, a bunch of songs about death and, and whatnot. Um, in an important way, because I kind of see everything that I care about as like becoming more and more entangled. Um, you know, music is always a passion that everyone loves. It's almost like a, a guilty pleasure. Um, when there's so much going on in the world. Um, and as you guys know, I'm very obsessed with the concept of death and what that means for our lives and what we ought to do. Um, and it's, it's just the most important thing in our lives to confront, which is why I keep talking about it, why I keep bringing it up and inviting people to house shows and forcing them to confront this <laughs> this reality of their lives but i think the the confrontation of it and and the acceptance of its reality especially you know for all of you you know you guys believe whatever you want but as as a secular humanist you know atheist they used to say um, <laughs> it what death means is that you're going to die and then that's it and everything that we know this whole experience of being alive is over forever 
and like you're one shot, you're, you know, 80 years if you're lucky on this planet was just, was, that was just it. And it's done. And there's no before, there's no after, you know, depending on what you believe. Um, so where the ought that comes out of that for me um, uh, is expressed in this next song. To be middle class is to be a voyeur. Watch the sadist class torture the poor. Well, I went to college and I learned all about consent. I don't think that this should happen anymore. I once learned about our independence. Life and liberty are unalienable rights. I'm happy to tell you that I'm counting the dollars and cents. And positive liberty doesn't come without a fight. I want to get my health care by holding a gun to Ben Shapiro's wife's head. And I would slaughter the rich and go swim in their blood if it makes our country less dead. Pre-existing worry. Google mortality, a medical to healthcare. Cause 29 million are right now in a bit of a hurry. But if you're still uncomfortable, human sacrifice is fair. I hope you can keep your precious doctor. So I hope the uninsured get to keep their lives. The advocates tell me that one day we all can choose. Well, I know who I pick. It's Ben Shapiro's wife. I want to get my health care by holding a gun to Ben Shapiro's wife's head. Lock her up with the teachers and librarians Cause baby I'm seeing red Let's get these laws in place Cause the next are the sourdough lines Fall into Castro's warm embrace the infant mortality declines. If you don't take a stand, they'll privatize the fire stations. Don't settle for Romney's plan. Join every other developed nation. I want to get my health care by holding a gun to Ben Shapiro's wife's head. I'm not looking for no half ass public option. Cause baby, you see red. Yeah, I'm a little pissed. How are they both Jewish and fascist? 